Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sarah and today I'm gonna to be talking about The Kissing Booth on Netflix number one because the second one came out and I don't know if I can bring myself to watch it. I watched The Kissing Booth when it first came out and I remember not liking it and turning it off and so then I was like, you know what? I should review it and make fun of it. So here we are. I rewatched it for you guys and it was like two hours of my life I'm never gonna get back so please hit the like button. Also if you're new here hit that subscribe button because I make new videos every Thursday and I talk about books and movies and all these other entertainment things in the world. I'm not even gonna recap The Kissing Booth because you know what it's about. You're here to rant. Let's rant. Once again I would like to say this is not against the actors. This is purely about the creative team because what are you guys doing? Alright so Ellie and Lee have a pact that they have all these rules about their friendship and whatever, which I think is kind of weird, but all right. And Lee has this rule that Ellie can't date Noah, but it's disguised as you can't date family members, which is clearly in reference to Noah and no one else because Ellie's younger brother is like really young. And Lee is not gay, so. Most of my problems with this movie circle around the fact that Noah is extremely controlling and I do not think their relationship is healthy at all. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be talking about. I'm pretty much just going to town on this movie. My main problem with this movie is that Noah is super controlling and not a good fit for Elle and I don't think their relationship is healthy so that's my main thesis of the video if you agree with me. Drop a comment in the comments below. If you don't agree with me, great. Let me know your side. Tell me in the comments below. This dude is so controlling. He admits it. That's the scary part. They have a conversation and Elle is like, I, you can't control my life anymore. And Noah's just like, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, that's not okay. It's clear from the beginning that Noah kind of has anger issues, which like, if we had talked about this in a mature and healthy way, fine whatever. But it's just kind of painted as romantic and it's not. So Elle shows up to school with her two short skirt and this guy like completely sexually assaults her. He puts his hand up her skirt and like wax her like and I totally get like why you would be upset about that but to just start going to town on this guy like whoa like Noah's not even really friends with Elle. He's he just knows her as Lee's best friend and they're not dating and it's it's concerning a little bit and so then they're in detention and he like asks her out the sexual assaulter and she's like considering it which is appalling and yeah she makes him do the thing and it's like supposed to be funny where he like wears her skirt but like why are you considering giving your number to someone who put his hand up your skirt against your will and you were really upset about it? Yeah, so then it's revealed that guys haven't been asking Ellie out because Noah has been going around telling all the guys in the school that if they ask her out, he'll beat them up. So that's also not okay, and it's also painted as protective and cute and romantic and, uh, I'm just, I'm concerned for the message that this movie gives young people. I really am. Then there are these girls, these popular girls, and there's three of them because of course there are, and they're called the OMG girls. And there's literally a line where Ellie's talking to them and they're like, you can call us bitches. And she says like, sounds good or whatever. And they're like, and she goes, bitches and then they're like ah, and it's like supposed to be a good thing yeah call me old-fashioned but I never really like when someone calls me the b-word even if it is one of my friends I don't like the normalization of that word and uh, yeah I definitely don't think it's cool right so then Ellie accidentally stumbles into the boys locker room after her paint fight with Lee because of course she does and all the boys are like oh and Ellie's like oh my god I'm so embarrassed and instead of being like, yo, like, stop looking, like, get away, like, leave her alone, like, a normal, healthy, mature man might, um, Noah kind of blames Elle and, like, grabs her and is like, you need to leave and, like, drags her out. As if it was, like, her fault? So then, I will say, like, boss, Elle does the exact opposite and, like, she does her little dance. And that was cool. Like, you know, she showed that she's not gonna listen to him and she showed that she can stand up for herself and if she wants to revel in the attention that she's getting, like, she's more than welcome to as her own woman. So, like, okay, like, I'm not opposed to that. But the fact that he was, like, 
telling her she needed to leave and like pulling her out and being so aggressive about it. Like I just, I don't like Noah and I don't think it's a good relationship. Kissing booth comes around. Okay, for no reason Noah says no. Like multiple times, like he's just being a jerk about it. Like he doesn't actually have a reason and because we've seen his reputation as a player this whole time, I don't see any reason why he actually wouldn't do it. Which is just kind of annoying and it doesn't make me like him anymore. Okay, so then Noah brings Elle into this pavilion thing in the rain and it's supposed to be like cute and romantic and Elle like stops the kiss and she's like, I cannot just be another one of your conquests. And Noah! like looks down at her like all serious and he's like is that what you think of me whoa yes that is what everyone thinks of you like what do you mean how is it okay that he's like turning this background on her like you only think that of me like dude that's only what you are like you are a player that's like your body that that is your definition like that's what you do you go around kissing girls and that's all we know about you like what do you mean that's what you think of me, like, that's what I think of you, like, I, <sighs> okay. Probably my least favorite scene is as follows. Get in the car, Al. No. Get in the car, Al. No. Get in the car, Al! <sighs> Please. And then she does! What is wrong with these writers? If a big guy, I don't even care if, if he's even small, if a guy is yelling at you, if anyone is yelling at you to get in the car, and you don't, and they yell more, and then they smack the car and yell at you louder? I would not get in the car even if they did say please. Like, how is it okay to show people, young girls, young guys, that this behavior is appropriate because it's not? And it's saying that if he was really a danger to her, like, he wouldn't say please, but like, that is so not true. Like, there are just, there are so many things wrong with that scene. And then, so yeah, so they go to the Hollywood sign I just love how she jumps from never dating anyone, never kissed anyone, to kissing this guy who's a huge player and super off limits once and then twice and then sleeping with him. Like, that jump is huge. And it's like, where is the romance? Like, why? What? What? Like, their whole montage of a relationship is mostly them sleeping together, and if it's not them sleeping together, yeah, they're having fun, but maybe we should see them having fun before they start sleeping together. It's very uncomfortable because, yeah, they kiss and, like, it's cute because she likes him and okay, whatever, but there's also these major underlying tones with, like, his anger issues and the fact that she was literally sexual assaulted, like, twice. The guy with the skirt and the guy who was, like, dragging her towards the water who wanted to skinny dip and, of course, Noah had to step in and, of course, Noah, like, attacks him. So, she's mad at him all the time. She tells him to stop controlling her life. She tells him to stop getting in fights. He does none of these things and she still sleeps with him. I just, I just think it's a little concerning. So then Netflix decides we actually want to tackle this anger issues thing we're dealing with. And I'm like, good, this needs to be dealt with. So Noah says, no, I have these anger issues. My parents tried to take me to a counselor, which didn't work, but sure. Elle's just gonna magically make his anger go away. And then he just resorts to saying like, oh, we're all a little effed up. And she looks at him and she goes, you can change, you're Noah Flynn. All right, first of all, the idea that the girl can change the boy is awful and never works. Honey, you can't change him, especially if it's a psychological problem. Counselors couldn't change him. Why do you think that you can? And why is the movie telling her that she can? Yes, yeah, so then Lee walks in and he's like, yo, and he sees her face and he's like, did you hit her? Okay, I'm sorry. I think that's a reasonable assumption. Like, I, this dude is insane. And then of course Noah gets offended and he goes at him and then the brothers have this big blow up fight when Lee figures out they're together and then they start fighting. Like, oh my gosh, this is a horrible display for young girls to look at. She has these two men in her life. They're supposed to be her most important people in her life. And well, one is the best friend who's manipulative and controlling in the fact that he doesn't let her date his older brother and like, she controls her happiness and if she goes against him she's just not gonna talk to him and then he breaks his own ice cream roll and then Noah's got anger issues and he is controlling as heck none of these relationships are healthy why why is this like a cute summer romance this is weird this is kind of a weird movie also literally Elle tells Noah she's like stay upstairs I'm gonna go deal with Lee and he does it and he comes down and he picks a fight again like <sighs> What's going on? 
nice trust they got going there. So after this whole fight that we knew was coming from day one in this movie, Lee and Alan just make up, like, after five minutes. Just like a dance-off. Okay, they don't even really have a conversation about it, they just, like, make up, which is fine, like, alright. But Lee still is like, you should be happy and just go after Noah. He's like, yeah, okay, glad so you came, glad you came over to my side. Like, so finally, Elle stands up for herself, and yeah, I totally saw the Batman thing coming. That was not clever at all. And so then it's like, yay, like, they get together, cool. And then he leaves for college. And so it's like, what did I just spend two hours doing with my life? Like, what is Elle doing? Like, he's gone. Honey, and as we can see from the trailer of The Kissing Booth 2, I haven't watched it yet. I don't know if I want to put myself through that. We're gonna find other men. Noah's not the only one. And so, I just, I don't know. It was like, yeah, okay, that was a lot of trouble for him to just go off to school and you don't even know if you're gonna be together. Like, I just, I don't know. So yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Do you agree with me? Do you not? Like, I just, I don't know. It's not healthy, no matter where you stand, like, you gotta admit, there's something kind of wrong with Noah and Elle's relationship. Like, it's just, it's just not, it's not good. Maybe they address that in the second movie, but doubt it. That's all I got for you. I'm done. I don't want to think about it anymore. It happened. I'm moving on. If you want to follow me over on Instagram, I have a writing page and I also post about my videos. It's at the underscore writing corner. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Sarah M. Caroline and that's Sarah with an H. Don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos every Thursday and we have a lot of fun here as you can see. Sometimes we're positive, sometimes we're not so much, but you know what? It needed to be said. I enjoy a good rant as much as the next person. I hope you're having a good day. I hope this video made you smile and I'd love to hear from you. So hit that like button and then drop a comment in the comments below. Have a good day. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.